All right. Um, it's it's time to do the top twenty Christmas movies we've watched, and I have a funny feeling our list is probably going to be different again. Mm-hmm. Um, only one horror movie though on my Christmas list. One. See? Oh, no, just I think one. I know which one it is. Yeah, just one. Blair Witch. Blair Witch. Whatever. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Blair Witch. Because she's, she's a witch, and witches are associated with Christmas. Is story? You know, when the great witch came down from above, and Marc Messier was born. That's how the whole thing started. <laughs> it's dark. That's what happened. No. Okay. All right. I want me to start, or do you want you Go to start? Ahead. Okay. Uh, number one, number 20 for me is one that has a lot of flaws, but... I enjoyed it at the theater when I saw it initially, and that's the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. It's okay. I like that movie. If I have to sit through it, I could. I'd rather not, which shows just how lean the Christmas movies are for me. <sighs> okay, I should open this. Okay, my number 20. Okay, if I can make the marker work. There you go. Yeah, blame the marker. Gremlins. She has gremlins at number 20. It's a Christmas movie. That's criminally low. I like a lot of Christmas movies, though. That's... We have a lot of Christmas movies. She has a lot of Christmas movies. I think I have, like, four, including gremlins. And, and, um, for a, a, a honorable mention, The Shining gets an honorable mention as a Christmas movie. I know what you've told me it's Christmas before, but just yeah. because there's snow and family doesn't make it Christmas. There's also there's also a lesson in it. <laughs> okay. Jack learns a lesson in the movie, and there's spirit stuff too because there's the spirits in the hotel. Okay. Anyways. Ghosts of Christmas Past, uh, and present is the guy who comes in and <clears throat> in the chest. That's the ghost it's of Christmas not. present. He gets stabbed. No. Uh, number 19. That happened in Christmas Carol, too. They just don't. That's the un, unrated edition. Uh, number 19. Yes, this is a Christmas movie. Absolutely is a Christmas movie. Die Hard. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't care if anybody doesn't think it's a Christmas movie. Doesn't he put ho, ho, ho on a guy's chest? He shoots him. And he puts, like, a piece of paper where he writes ho, Honestly, ho, ho on it. I don't think I've it. ever seen it. So. Oh, wow. We have to watch Die Hard. Die Hard's a great Christmas movie. Pretty sure I've never watched it. Okay. It's it's an amazing yeah. Christmas movie. Yeah. See, there's like a little. Hmm. Has Shannon seen that movie, Bishop's Wife? It's an old movie. It's an old movie. It's cute. This okay. is why we can't have Christmas anymore. <laughs> Number 18 is a reach. I admit it's a reach. Oh, it's not going to be a Christmas movie, is it? No, it is. Uh-huh. And I have it. Uh, it's okay. called The Sure Thing. Stars John Cusack and Daphne Zuniga. Uh, and it's about him on Christmas break trying to get laid. That does not sound like a Christmas but, movie. But, but... He's trying to get himself this beautiful blonde girl that he's never actually met. And on the way, he falls in love with Daphne Zuniga. And it's this cute little movie. And it's this romantic comedy from the mid-80s. And it is... It, it is a Christmas movie. Because it takes place over Christmas. Aha! Whatever. I've never seen that one either. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna run out of space. Where do, oh my... Hold on, my list moved. Okay. Well, 18... Babes in Toyland. Yes. Okay. Do you not like that movie? I don't know. I've never watched it. Really? Look at the name. When would I have watched Babes in Toyland? When you were little. I'm pretty sure I never saw it. Laurel and Hardy? I might have it. Probably I have. probably do. You have a whole book like, of Christmas movies. I, like old, I do, but I have a lot of old movies too. I really like old movies. I know you do. 
Not everybody's perfect. generally blow things up, so. Uh, speaking of blowing things up, number 17. <laughs> this is also a Christmas movie. Oh, you can movie. see Bear. Look at Bears in this video. Takes place at Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. Uh, the Long Kiss Good Night stars either. Gina Davis and Samuel L. Jackson. It's an action movie. Takes place at Christmas. Ha -ha. I don't think I've ever seen that one either. I've got it somewhere. Somewhere? I do. I've got it somewhere. I don't know if it's been packed away, though. But if it has, I can still find it for you. No I mean, problem. I'm pretty sure I've never seen that one either. They tried to make Gina Davis an action star, and the world was not ready for a female action star, so it bombed. You can't say that this... This wobbles. It's hard to write on. Uh-huh. Makes my handwriting look terrible. Yes. Thank you. It does. My yeah. subscribers now Edward know. Edward Scissorhands. See, that's tenuous as a Christmas movie. Whatever. The if... ending is totally Christmas time. But... And the the old lady, when she's telling the story, she's telling it at Christmas time. But then these are Christmas movies, too. No. You can't you can't have it both ways. <laughs> now we can. getting into a movie that is totally a Christmas movie, I promise you haven't seen this one. I haven't seen well, I've seen We need one of your we need to so watch far. we need to watch this one together. Batman Returns with it's Catwoman and Penguin. It takes place at Christmas. It is a Christmas movie. I even read online a debate about whether or not it's a Christmas movie, and they came to the conclusion Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. It's dark, violent, but it's a Christmas movie. That's ridiculous. I don't have Silent Night, Deadly Night in here, so I'm not sure what she's complaining about. You just about. can't make everything a Christmas movie because it happens in winter. It, it It's a Christmas movie. The director even said it was intentionally set at Christmas because of what Die Hard had done. They kind of thought, yeah, that's a good idea. This should be something dark at Christmas when you don't expect it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this is moving a lot. Uh-huh. That's a scratch. Okay. This is the old scratchy board because yeah. the other ones were all being yeah, used for hockey right it now. It doesn't come off. Nope. So you have a Christmas Carol at sixteen. Christmas Carol, yeah. That's wrong. You're wrong. That's wrong. Which now? Which Christmas Carol? The old black and white one. So the one from nineteen fifty one. I don't. The one where you, at the I don't remember okay. So the one that at the movies. end, the one that at the end when he wakes up and he's 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 not a grump anymore. He scares the hell out of his help. Oh yeah. And yes. she thinks he's it's lost so his mind. Yes. She's screaming yes. while she runs from yes. him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Around the house. Yeah. Yeah, that one's great. That one's yeah. great. Um, he hugs the curtains because nobody's sold off the curtains. Yes. Yeah, that one's great, but it belongs much higher than 16. You're wrong. <laughs> um, number 15, however, is something similar. And this is where I think our, our lists are probably going to include a lot of the same movies. The Muppet Christmas Carol. I love that one. Because The Muppet Christmas Carol has the best narration of almost any movie I've ever watched. It's fun. It is a fantastically fun movie, and I enjoyed it far more than I thought I would. It's a cute one. I have that one. I have that movie, too. That one's I have a, a lot of Christmas movies, though. So. Okay. Oh, goodness. What number is it? 34. I always forget which number it is really yeah because i don't remember stuff like how that. do you forget what because i do now this is the old one well of course so the, the, the the new one sucked the 1947 yeah the the remake movie. the remake wasn't very good it was it's just not shot terrible, for but shot they almost changed, remake well they changed little bits of it that yeah, i didn't really didn't, like no i I've... i didn't like how they did the mum. no in the new one i didn't like her no she wasn't no. very it wasn't very it wasn't character. as good so now, now number 14 is a movie I have that you haven't seen either. And you're going to argue with me this is not... I have seen a lot of your movies. You're going to say this is not a Christmas movie either, it's but you're wrong. Not. No, no, no. It is absolutely a Christmas movie. Iron Man? 
Iron Man 3. Oh, no, I haven't seen 3. Set at Christmas, it's a Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. I'm See, we can make a know. nice action set of, of Christmas movies that don't have and to all a good night at the end of them. Okay, whatever. Anyways, number four, Team Random. No. I do. And, yeah. Five being Christmas. I made you watch this one last year. Yeah, you did. So this is one I, I got. I survived that movie. I'm trying to think. I think I got it when um, Blockbuster was closing and they had tons of movies for a dollar and I'd never seen it. I was like, yeah, for a dollar, I'll watch this movie. And it was a lot cuter than I thought it was going to be. And and I think it's kind of a fun movie. And you didn't hate it. So, you know, there's that. That's, that's yeah. That's, it wasn't that's terrible. It. it was kind of funny. That's about it. The family, it's funny. Number 13. I knew that'd be on <laughs> Krampus. I, I enjoyed Krampus. We've got a review on this channel for Krampus. I enjoyed it. It's a cautionary tale. And since Adelaide's going to be gone tomorrow and the boys will be here, I'm going to get the boys to watch Krampus. Malachi mm. might really like that movie. Yes. Yeah. That seems like a Malachi And the dark movie. ending to it where... Yeah. I, like, although I don't know if that might go over his head. The it idea might, that, might. It might. That's yeah. kind of abstract for him. He doesn't really uh -huh. think that uh -huh. way. So, okay. That's dark. Where am I? Oh. 13. Okay. But I don't have my numbered. Mine aren't numbered either. I just so, can't count. I can't see all of them. Brat. I can see all of mine, lady friend. I can't. Hey, at least I steady the board for you. You're nice. Thank you. You're nicer than I am to you. Oh, though. really? You've got that I, on I the know. list? How do I, oh, how do I spell the name? Okay. Okay. R I know. The first time I watched this movie, I thought it was kind of stupid. It's kind of funny, though. Yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. I was I was very lucky to make it through that movie. I, I felt a sense of relief at having completed it last year. It was uh, to work. It was a movie. It I will a... I will admit that it's a movie. <laughs> I will grant you that it is a movie. <laughs> it has actors. People say stuff, and then it's over. And it is it is a movie. I like All right. it. And number twelve. going to seem like a cheat because it was on my halloween movie list but neighbor before christmas is still a christmas movie oh i have i have a few movies so, that were on the halloween list 12 so yeah i put that one at 12 uh now it was higher on the halloween list because i feel it's more a halloween movie than a christmas movie so this list is more of okay we got to watch christmas movie what are we going to watch this is in the order that i would i would choose to, to watch them so uh, nightmare before christmas is ahead of these other ones admittedly but these other ones are still on the we need to make you go and watch it list i only wish superman 2 was on there because you'd love superman 2 if you actually sat and watched it it's a really cute movie she's never seen neil before zod okay i think you're making up titles now no i was gonna say long most ears people... long ears okay. You don't need two R's and eared. Okay, you can't. Oh, no, do you? Yeah, I think you do, because otherwise it would be erd. Right? I don't think so. Wouldn't that be erd? No, that doesn't look right. Nope. I can normally spell. That doesn't look right either. Ah, okay, well, okay. I'm not looking it up. We'll just okay. stick with that. Nestor I've... the Long-Eared Donkey. Most people have never heard of this movie before. It's one of the old Rankin Bass, um, those stop motion animation. Yes. Um, you know how they did. Like the Were Rabbit? No. People? No, no. They did uh, Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh. Um, okay. Rudolph is not on my list. Those. Um, it's one of those, but it's about the donkey that, that carries Mary and Joseph. It's. So cute. Even even as a kid, I couldn't stand Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Um, I like it. my favorite year without a Santa Claus though out of those, but 
uh, Nestor the Long Eared Donkey. It was on one of the uh, DVD, the sets. I don't remember yeah. which one. It might be on Rudolph. Okay. But it's really cute. I like that one. And nice. It's just one of those short. Yeah. The stop motion. Sorry. <laughs> it's cute. Sure it is. I like it. It's a sweet story. And that's the old one, too. Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, I really enjoyed that as a kid. Uh, there is nothing, no no scene in a, in a Christmas movie that's quite as uh, amazing as when all the letters to Santa oh, Claus are brought to court. That they're like, this is Santa because all of these kids recognize him as Santa, which I it thought was, was it really fun. It was the fun. Postal Service yes. recognized him, and so it was the government yeah. saying that, yep, this is indeed yeah, Santa. He's Santa Claus. And it's such a fun movie. It really it is. It is cute. Okay, where am I? Number 11. Okay. And... Oh, you're the one you just mentioned? Yeah. I have no idea. That's the one with the the heat miser, snow miser? Oh, okay. I oh, think I know that one. It's I, the one with the, the stop motion animation. I think you made me watch that the it, first year we were together. Maybe. Uh, it's the one with the heat miser. See, it's not just me that makes Mother her Nation. watch stuff. She makes me watch stuff, too. I know throughout the, the reviews that it looks like I make her do stuff. She's made me do stuff, too. <laughs> I, I don't get to a watch pick movies what? nearly as often. I have to watch what? Why? I made you watch a Christmas movie It's Christmas this again? Week. Yeah, earlier this week I made him watch a Christmas movie. We just don't usually do reviews of my movies. No, I know. Very rarely. Number 10. Uh, for the absolutely crazed uh, ending, the fact that he sounds completely insane, it's worth it. <laughs> for the for the sheer darkness of this, that the angel's like, yeah, I'll let him kill himself. And we'll show him what the world's like if he's dead. There's, there's a darkness to this movie and a weirdness to it. And for the line, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And the fact that Spawn... Had fun with that line in their movie. Oh, I don't have Spawn in here for a Christmas movie. Probably because it's not a Christmas movie. It's a fun movie, though. I recommend Spawn the movie, even though most people hated it. Uh, but yeah, It's a Wonderful Life is a fun Christmas movie. Okay, and then my number 10 is The Muppet. That's too high. It's not my fault. It's wrong. You need to look over at my list where it's right. Where did you have it? I had it at 50. 15. See, you're wrong. It's oh, not man. as good as Iron Man 3, but then again, uh, you haven't seen Iron Man 3, so, you know, there's that. I like The Muppet Christmas Carol. The Muppet Carol. Christmas really Carol funny. is funny. Yep, I like it. Number nine. And you know what's funny is when I was researching for this, because I, unlike the Halloween movies where I just look at my collection, Christmas, I kind of have to research it. Um, number nine. It's a cute movie that I was pretty sure I had somewhere. Now I'm having a hard time finding it, and if I can find it, it won't arrive until after Christmas. While You Were Sleeping, which is the movie that made everybody fall in love with Sandra Bullock. Uh, Bill Pullman's in this as well. There's some really, it's such a cute movie, and it's 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 predicated on the idea that she has a crush on this guy. He ends up in a, in a coma, and so she poses as his, his fiancé slash girlfriend, and so they spend Christmas, his family with her while he's in a coma. And she loves the family, and they love her. And then he wakes up like, I don't, I don't know who you are. So it it is a really cute movie, but it's definitely a Christmas movie, and and we need to watch it. I have not seen that one. It's a very okay. cute movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, so you cheated too. What? What did I, What do you mean I cheated? Well, because we had that on the Halloween list too. Yeah. So it was Edward Scissorhands and Gremlins. Oh, you had Gremlins on your movie list for the... I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, okay. All right. Didn't yeah, I... that's right. I, I argued I it that that was a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a really good movie. It is. You wouldn't know that she's a fan from her attire. Just oh, like my fun. Doctor Who shirt that she made me last year. I like that one a lot. It's I know so you fun. do. 
Number eight. There's a little Christmas adipose. Yeah, adipose is so cute. <laughs> they make perfect little <laughs> elves. Scary snowmen. Yes. Number eight. Bill Murray, Scrooged. Scrooged is so funny. I love that one. And have we made the boys watch that one? Yes. Did we have them watch it? They laughed it? really hard I remember. at the Ghost of Christmas Past beating the crap out of them. That's right. Malachi Carol was Kane. cracking up. Carol Kane beating the hell we out might, of Bill Murray. We might need to watch that with them again. It is sure. a really funny movie. It was pretty, yeah. Bobcat Goldthwait's amazing in it. Every Everything in that movie is awesome. That was when Bill so Murray fun. was really at his peak. Great movie. That's a fun one. Yes. Okay, where am I? Oh. Number eight. The, is that you mean the same as this one? Yes. So you have to have an E at the end. It's there. It's 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 there. there. Oh, okay. It was just half a one. Really, you'd you'd watch the the I Tim like Murray. I like it. I like all three of them, even though the first one's the best one, and then the third one, and then the second one. They're all cute though. It's dark. I like them. Santa Claus is dead. It's dark. Oh, they're good movies, though. Okay, now I have to pause for a sec. All right, uh, now that Yvonne's got herself a tea, and I've done editing in a video I just uploaded on my main channel, let's get back to this. Uh, number seven, and uh, I did include Christmas cartoons. I went back and forth on this, and I thought, Shannon, if you're going to get to 20, you have to include the cartoons, or you're never going to get to 20. So, uh... So punctuated by the Great Pumpkin and uh, Charlie Brown having his costume with all the holes in it and uh, the rocks that he gets. Rock. Yeah, the rocks that he gets. That's why I love Charlie Brown Christmas. All of that is perfectly wonderful for Christmas. The Great Pumpkin is a great Christmas. What? Dork. That's the one it is, right? No, that's the Halloween one. But the Great Pumpkin is the one with the Christmas tree where the... The, the one bulb makes it fall over, and then magically when kids put stuff on it, it and becomes like, a full oh. tree. Yes. I'm still not sure what happens there. I don't know what. They flocked it with green, super flocked I Yeah, that was but weird. lots of tinsel. But that's the Halloween show, right? Because I was always confused sure. about why those are backwards. Okay. Yeah, Charlie Brown Christmas, though, for me is number, number seven. Uh, it's a solid. And again, I know it's a cartoon, but it's really hard to find 20. No, it's not. For me, it is. Okay, what am I on? I am with the Christmas oh. list like she was with the Halloween list. Okay, we'll do... Don't you mean national? Yes, but I didn't want to write the whole thing. National, I have it on here. National, national Lampoon's, Lampoon's Christmas, Christmas Vacation. Vacation. Coke. I don't so. want a Coke. No, no, when I do that, that means you owe me a... Ow. You owe me a Coke. The doctor said you're not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> um, that's a great movie. It is. I love that movie. And I have... I have the made nice a blanket quilt, with the it. blanket. And um, I have the Funko Pop of him with the moose mugs. I wish I could find those moose mugs for He's kind of a good-looking guy that bought it for you. I know. He's pretty cute. I wish you could find those moose mugs for not insanely expensive. The moose so mugs fun. are crazy. They are. I mean, we have the peppermint schnapps. It'd be perfect for the moose mugs. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're they're really expensive. Which is just silliness. But yeah, that would be really fun. It's weird. But I like that movie a lot. It's so it funny. Is, it is a very good movie. Uh, number six. So, again. Do I not have 20? <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> I thought nine, you could count them. 14, 15, oh. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I missed one. Which one do they miss? I missed one somewhere. Hey, read them off from the bottom. Okay. okay yeah, Santa, Santa Claus, Claus, Died Hard, Sure Thing, Last Kiss Goodnight, Batman Returns, Muppet Christmas Carol. I know what I missed. I missed number 14. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a 14 <laughs> here. Grab some arrows. Da, 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 da. So this is actually 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Number 14, and it's ironic that I missed this one. Uh, 
Oh, there you go. Because it it was it was entertaining in parts. I kind of wanted more from it. But the man who invented Christmas is technically supposed to be number fourteen. I'm just looking. I'm going. Wait, I know I had twenty. I forgot number fourteen was the man who invented Christmas. So. There you go. All right. I'm sorry. Okay. I'd like to apologize to everybody who waited throughout okay. this video, or for people who skip to the end and go, "Wait, what did he do?" Not the people skip to the end. Number six for you is the Grinch. Yes. Number five for not, me. Not the one that came out this year, though. That one's crap. No. Just now, saying Now, the is, that, animated... is that the cartoon or is that the one with Jim Carrey? Yes. <laughs> I meant the one with Jim Carrey because the, the cartoons are really short, just cartoons, so I wasn't counting that. Uh, I meant the live action with Jim Carrey. The one that came out this year, I took Adelaide to see it this weekend, and that movie was terrible. Um, I had the hardest time staying awake. I might have fallen asleep during, you know, the most exciting part where he's stealing Christmas. I had was, no interest in was, watching it because it looked awful. I didn't awful. think it was going to be very good, but I wanted it just to take Adelaide to a Christmas movie, and that was the only one. It just looked terrible. It so really I was like, was. no. Even the music was crap. Number five for me is the original cartoon, Grinch Stole Christmas. There you go. So we're kind of in agreement, but you'll notice the Jim Carrey movies nowhere to be found. I, I don't enjoy the Jim Carrey movie. Oh, I do. It goes on too long. It takes it takes what is right, a perfect add, thirty minute cartoon right. and it tries to make it an hour and a half and yeah. it's just yeah. Oh no. The one this year that oh it's terrible and they change it and the whole part with the Christmas doesn't come from a store. No, they change that whole thing. Oh Christmas does come from a store? No, it's not even in there. Uh oh. So there's no moral. See my get no. Do you want me to spoil it for you? Should we tell them spoilers? Spoiler. So, the reason that he hates Christmas is because he doesn't like being alone. He was adopted. That doesn't... And he was in the orphanage and there wasn't any decorations or anything. And he got to see everybody out the window having fun at Christmas. And his Christmas was boring. He was all by himself. So, he doesn't like Christmas because he was by himself. There doesn't need to be a backstory for the Grinch. Oh, but there's a lot of backstory for there the Grinch. There doesn't need to be a back. It's what makes it. this cartoon and, work and is there liked, isn't one. People liked the Grinch. He just didn't like them back. It was, it's weird. I don't, I didn't like it. It was awful. It was not, no, I didn't like it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, you put Scrooge up at fifth. I really like Scrooge. I do too. Well, I have a it's... seventh. <laughs> it's actually seventh. <laughs> it's so yeah. you know this can you could just oh, I could, but wet. see, <laughs> he <Stop laughs> <it. Just> <laughs> He could just erase it. Your hand is going to be blue for the next week. Not if I wipe it off on you. You're gonna have Smurf fingers. You wouldn't do that to this shirt, though. No, not not the shirt. Ta-da. This is from wiping it when it was wet. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I agree with Scrooge. I have I no like, problem I with like Scrooge being at number five. Uh, for me at number four. Gremlins. <laughs> Gremlins really is a high. Christmas movie, and it's amazing. Because <laughs> Santa Claus gets strangled by Gremlins. I haven't watched it and because of Phoebe we Cates, should, have Phoebe we made Cates. Have you watch that one yet? Yes. Did we? Okay. Yes, Phoebe Cates with her, um, her speech about how she hates Christmas and why she hates Christmas is so unintentionally funny that they mocked it in the second movie, right? Where she's talking about Lincoln and they're like, "Ah, uh, no," and they just shoo her out of the room. And for Phoebe Cates alone, the movie belongs in the top ten. Hey, every guy in the 80s had a crush on Phoebe Cates. I don't care if every guy did. I'm just saying that's a stupid reason to like a movie. It's not the only reason, but, you know, Billy ended up with the girl at the end, so good for Billy. Okay. Oh, and then I have... Wow, you have it that high up? I like it. That's wrong. You're wrong. The Man Who Invented Christmas... I like it. Which is about Charles Dickens. I like it. And his writing of Christmas, Christmas Carol. Carol. I don't know how real how realistic that is. I don't know if he really went through that that 
fugue state, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But um, I know from when I was writing novels all the time, you have to be immersed in that world to write. And sometimes for people who don't understand, it can be really frustrating that even though you're there, you're not really there. And you're not in the mood to talk because as soon as somebody talks to you, you're taken out of the moment. The whole thing disappears. So in the movie, when he's writing and somebody knocks on the door and it all blows up, I'm like, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> you know, and, I, and, and, you know, when I was writing books a decade ago, it was always like, I just start getting into it, really get going. And then, Dad, oh, yeah, yes. What would you like? I love you. Oh, that's that's. I'm out of the book. I'm out. It's gone. Or I'd be in the middle of a really big scene, and I'd have you know sometimes somebody in my ear like, hey, you know, want to do something else? I probably should, and then I couldn't get back into it. So I could totally understand the the blocks that he had in the movie, and sometimes. Uh, yeah, writing the finish of a, of a novel is really, really difficult. It is a pain. And sometimes it's an attachment to the characters, too, where you don't want the story to end. That's kind of why I wrote five parts for Into the Void, because I wanted to go back and see how Mike was doing. Like, let's see what's, what's going on with Mike. Let's see how Mike's doing right now. Because, again, much like the movie, he lets the characters tell him where the story's going. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I write. So people are sometimes like, wait, you killed me off? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. That's where the book went. They don't, nobody will believe you. They'll think that you intentionally killed off their character when the book just tells you that's what's going to happen. Number three, Elf. Will Ferrell's Elf, which is one of the few movies starring Will Ferrell that I really, really enjoy. I, I like Elf. I Elf is hilarious. The first time I watched that movie. It is so funny. It is. And, uh, Fruit spray. Ah! Bob, Bob Newhart. <laughs> Playing like the head elf. Papa He's elf. absolutely amazing. Um, Ed Asner as Santa Claus is perfect. He's spot on. <laughs> everything everything in the movie is just great. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> his childlike innocence Santa, through the whole movie. I know him. And then when he, when he decorates the whole <laughs> store overnight. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And just how he's just totally oblivious <laughs> through the whole movie. Don't look, don't look. Ah! Like when he when he calls out the store Santa. <laughs> you smell like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imposter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not the real Santa. Don't tell him anything. <laughs> Would you see me on my birthday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> movie's awesome. All right, you're number okay. three. I'm holding it. I know, but it still wiggles. Yeah. And so. And wiggle, I, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. No, that was disturbing. <laughs> She'd never seen you. I'm Shannon sexy and I know it until last that week. I video the other day. That video is disturbing. <laughs> I don't, I don't I'm like, hey, you've never that. seen that video? All right, let's stop everything and let's watch that video. That's pretty much what happened. Every Kids are downstairs does. destroying the house. No, no, we got to watch this video There's first. Bear. She's just, her little head just peek. Yeah. Yeah. She's like that. All right, uh, for me, number two. I had a tradition. I knew that would be up really high. I had a tradition going back to when I was a teenager. Uh, CBC, every Christmas Eve, would play uh, Christmas Carol, the one that she likes as well. Um, and it was black and white. It wasn't the stupid colorized version. Thank you, Where TBS. Ugh, I hate the colorized version. It's just awful. The it's colors, weird. the colors are so off, and they're and they they're not consistent. Yeah, and there's parts of frame parts of frame that aren't colorized. Right. Little so you're kind of distracted. You're like everything's gray over sections. there. And and so it's really something that puts me off. But I would watch it every Christmas Eve on CBC. There was no commercials. Uh, thankfully I didn't usually have friends or people to talk to or things to do. Thankfully you had no friends. So in this case, yeah. Cause then I could just sit and watch Christmas Carol on Christmas Eve and not have to worry about parties or enjoying myself. I could just watch Christmas Carol instead. 
That way you didn't go have me. to have fun. Or yeah, go me. Any of that nonsense. And and CBC doesn't do that anymore. They don't do it, and they don't do it without commercials. I know, it's we so looked. Sad. Didn't we look like two years ago? They yeah, didn't it's have so it sad. at all. You have Elf at number two? Yes. That we're close. awesome. We're close on Elf. <laughs> that might be a first. That We're really, really close on a movie. Funny. We both enjoy it very, very much. Okay, so Syrup. what are you guessing is my number one? I don't know. See, I would have guessed Christmas Carol. Is it something stupid? I don't... <laughs> you assume it's think... something stupid? Yeah. Like a, a not, not Christmas movie. Well, see, have, Friday the have... 13th. I would have guessed, guessed Christmas Carol. Freddy wears a red and green sweater. That no. That, so that, since it's a red and green whatever. sweater, that does sound. Those like are Shannon Christmas car- Christmas colors. No. And it's all about dreams, and Christmas is a time of dreams that no. sometimes turn into nightmares, especially right before Christmas, which is why Nightmare Before Christmas is such a good movie. That's maybe not... maybe Pumpkin Jack is actually Freddy Krueger. No. How do you know? They aren't at all similar. They could be. But they're not. They could be. No. Oh, right. Because we haven't had that yet. Can't see the line, Russ. (laughs) (laughs) Just blousing, browsing. Nip, nipply in here. (laughs) Can't get any hooter. Hooter. Did I say hooter? Hotter. Not hotter. And he's with his brow with the underwear. Uh, yeah, Christmas Vacation is the best. You'll notice there's no Home Alone on my list because Home Alone is an entirely awful. Oh it's because no. it's his favorite and it's way up here. Oh no. Do you really think Home Alone's my favorite, Shannon? Oh no. Do you really? Shannon, you should know me better than that. You don't have Home Alone on your list? No. Seriously, you really thought that Home Alone would be on my list? I probably. You have yeah. Christmas with the Cranks on there. Because that one's actually funny. Home Alone is I just I don't think awful. trying to murder people was funny. No, no. If they they would have died. this was Malachi's list, he would have that up at number one. That's totally Malachi humor. That's not mine. Okay. Really? You were seriously concerned Home Alone would be... No- Shannon. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. All right, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Arthur Christmas. You do really enjoy Arthur Christmas. It's so funny. I've maybe made a lot of people watch Arthur Christmas because it's so funny. You've made me watch it. You fell asleep, though, so we might have to watch it again. That's not usually what that means when I fall asleep during a movie. It was back when you were working, though. So, like, out out of the house. I might still wait. What are you insinuating? I don't work. Wait, no, that's not. That's why I added that. When you used to work out of the house, and he's a YouTuber. He, she's you'd right. Come home and she had it right the, the first time. No, no, no. Shannon used to put in way too many hours and get very little sleep because he was still spending hours on his videos. But we have to true. watch again. It it's so funny. The Grandpa Santa is so funny. Giving giving kids a piece of wood for Christmas. It's hilarious. I love that movie. You know, I I could have included the episode of Doctor Who last Christmas. I <laughs> See, probably could have put of, that on here. Like if I I was thinking about the cartoons, there were things that I didn't put on there. But for me, for me, Grinch and and Charlie Brown had to be in there right. because. See, and I have ones Christmas like that, that I thought of because there was Grinch, and then the Prep and Landing movies. Those are awesome. I especially like the first one. That is funny. Do you not like Prep and Landing? It's it's okay. It's awesome. They're really it's cute. Okay. If you haven't seen them, you should watch them. They're really funny. They're okay. They're funny. They're okay. It's funny. What did you have to say about Marvel movies when you've watched them? <sighs> well, not just that. You've gone. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's this this is the reverse of that. Is that now I'm the one saying it's okay. And she's like, it's awesome, and you're wrong. Yes. So her list definitely has more on it that she would want to watch right now if she could. Yeah. And mine is made up of about half, yeah, I guess so. And We're the other half of, I guess, if we have to. Yep. But uh, We haven't watched very many at all yet. 
Right. We watched this one this year. Um, we Not may have it. to do a trade off. Oh, we watched this one. We may have to do a trade off because uh, you haven't seen Iron Man uh, three. You haven't seen Batman Returns, which I have. Uh, I don't have the sure thing, which I should have, but I don't. Uh, Long Kiss Goodnight, I don't have. Um, I used to, way back. I'm pretty sure I don't have that now. I don't have Die Hard, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure Die Hard's on these. on Netflix. I can probably find a couple of these on Netflix. I might be able to find Long Kiss Goodnight. Not all of them. All right. So there you go. Oh, I don't have Bishop's Wife. I don't own that one. You're a liar then. See, you said you have all of them, and now I said pretty sure this list brat. is just a, just a bunch of lies now. Shannon's a brat. So there you go. Uh, Twenty movies. Well, for me, it's eighteen movies and two cartoons, but it's Christmas. Well, see, I have Nestor, the Long-Eared Donkey, and the Year Without a Santa Claus, and those are both. They're not cartoons, but they're the stop motion. But they're the see. And there was ones. one I watched when I was a kid, that was these aliens that came down from space because they seen the star. I can't remember what that was called. It was in Canada. If you've seen See, you it... You didn't have the Christmas tree? And you... <laughs> you don't remember that one? Oh my gosh. It was there was a Canada. raccoons one too, which was actually pretty good. With Cyril Sneer and all that. That was actually a pretty good Christmas cartoon too. The raccoons were fine until they became a series and then it just... Off the cliff. Uh, but yeah, the one with the aliens that came down looking for the star. And everybody's terrified of the aliens. And they find out it just came down looking for the star. The star of David that showed up. And they get to hear the, the tale of, of Jesus at the end. And how he's... So they kind of portray them as like these three aliens or like the, the, the wise men or something. I don't know. But I remember it from the 80s. So you have to be older to remember what it is. I don't I don't remember what it was. No idea what you're talking about. But it would definitely be on my list. See, and, and Bear's trying to find it now, but it's not up there. <laughs> so she's trying to find it, though. All right, uh, so there you go. Let me know what's not on the list that you would have had on the list. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And thank you, Yvonne, uh, for the list. And uh, next up, we'll do uh, Valentine's Day movies. Valentine's Day movies. We'll do 20 best romantic movies for Valentine's Day. 20 romantic movies? I don't know that I know 20 romantic movies. I do. That are good? I didn't say good. Just come up with a list of 20 and then just kind of... I'll give you a hint. Pretty Woman's not in it. There's nothing romantic about that you movie. Don't, you don't like a movie about a man paying for a woman and then her falling in love with him? I It loses me paying for a woman. <laughs> kind of sort of does. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you again soon.